Hey guys, welcome back. Today on Cooking with Jen, I'm going to show you how you can make tahini yogurt sauce. On the Jerusalem braised lamb dish, I promise that I'll show you how you can make this yogurt sauce. So here we go. In a mortar and pestle, or you can use a blender if you like, but I'm using this as it's much easier to use and wash. You'll need some garlic cloves. I added in four to five, as I think it's the perfect amount and it tastes perfect every single time. Then add in some salt and pepper, then with the pestle mash it up until well combined. Next, let's add in the main ingredient, which is the sesame seeds. I added in two capsized full, which is two to three tablespoons. Mash this well together as much as possible. Then you're going to add in a teaspoon of olive oil with a squeeze of lemon or lime juice. Mash this up again as much as possible. Whether you use a blender or this mortal or pestle, you're going to still have some seeds which are uncrushed like this. And that's okay because in the end, like right now, we're going to mix this up with some yogurt. So let's get our yogurt out. I'm using Faye. This Greek yogurt works best than regular yogurt or curd as it gives the right, correct, thick consistency as well as a better flavor. I use 3 to 4 heap sized full tablespoons. You can use any Greek yogurt brand you wish. Then we're going to mix this up with a spoon or a fork until everything is well combined. It should be thick like this. If this is the final dish or bowl that you plan to serve it in, then let's give it a nice cleanup. I'm just wiping it up with a wet paper towel. Then for the appearances, I'm using the back of a spoon. Just going to make some random spirals all around. Then we're going to pour in some olive oil in those caps. I'm using this cap for easy handling. So cheap of me. Then garnish with some chopped up parsley or cilantro and make it look pretty. It looks perfect and appetizing. <laughs> this goes really amazing with that braised lamb dish that I showed you in a previous video. If you haven't seen it, just check it out in this link below. Uh, it goes well with any grilled meats or veggie dishes and I hope you enjoy this simple recipe with no cooking involved. But guess what? Yep, it's your turn. Try it out and let me know how it went for you. And I'll see you next time on Cooking with Jen. Bye-bye.